solve the given equation for real x okay at a first glance this seems to be the one of the toughest question of algebra but believe me this is the one of the easiest question if you understand the concept so he, here we have a mod function we have root function so how do we solve the mod function and the root function if we have two different type of functions in an equation i would suggest please use the graph value for solving the question okay now check the graph value first i plot the graph for this value then i plot the graph for this value and merge both the graph and we'll get the point of intersection and the point of intersection would give our required result first of all plot the graph for this function that is the mod function we know how to plot let's start plotting the graph here we have a mod function first of all we find the values that is nothing but the roots are corresponding roots are 20 minus 10 minus 20 and plus 10 so the minimum is minus 20 so say this one is minus 20 this one is minus 10 this one is plus 10 and plus 20 now it's time to get the corresponding y for the corresponding x assume x is 20 this becomes 0 this becomes 30 but the minus sign because we have minus sign this is 20 20 plus 40 plus 10 so we have nothing but when x is 20 this becomes 20 these are one value of the y we get this again x is 10 by solving this we'll get again 20 this one was 20 this one was 20 so we'll get again 20 when x is 10 solve x is equal to minus 10 that is minus 10 is 30 is 0 minus 10 is 10 minus 10 is 20 so it's nothing but 60 so we'll get this one is 60 when x is minus 20 we'll again get the 60 so the graph of this function is look like this the free hand movement graph 60 then we go to 20 we go to 20 and again upward this is the graph of this function now we need to plot the graph of another function we have this function whenever we have function we'll say this is nothing but y so we can say y squared is equal to 400 minus x minus 15 whole square this is nothing but y square plus x minus 15 is nothing but 20 so this is nothing but a circle whose radius is 20 and the center is 15 comma 0 so we can say 15 comma 0 is the center with the radius is 20 so radius should be 20 if this one is this graph if this one is y square plus x minus 15 hall square the radius is nothing but 20 with center 20 15 but this is under root under root is nothing but the modulus graph under root is nothing but the modulus graph a square or under root is always the modulus graph what is the meaning of the modulus graph the modulus graph is mean for the modulus graph or under root we need not to get the negative value so we have to omit the negative values all the negative values should be omitted okay so we do not want any negative values in this so all negative values should be omitted to get some reflection but these reflection are nothing but the imaginary value and we are not looking for the imaginary value so the graph of this function looks like this with center 15 0 and the radius is 20 now merge these two graphs we have our first graph and we have second graph the center is 15 and the radius is 20 if we plot the semicircle we'll get this is as a tangential point and since we have a tangential point because it's the height is 20 this is moving along 20 y is equal to 20 it is nothing but a tangential point and tangential point means only one point of intersection so our required answer for the question is how many values of the solution is only one and what would be the solution solution is nothing but 15 is the x and 20 is the y so whenever we have two different functions generally we solve the functions by merging the graph first plot the graph of lhs then plot the graph of rhs and merge the graph and get the answer i hope this one is clear even if you have any doubt i would say rewind the video because this is the advanced concept of the algebra but still you face you are missing some concept i would say please feel free to ping me okay i hope it is okay Thank you and happy learning and God bless you.